This is Philippa Pride, who is Stephen King's editor in the UK, so obviously has an editor in the US as well. Yes. But you handle all of his work in the UK. Yes. And Commonwealth? Yes, British Commonwealth, excluding Canada, USA, Philippines. So that's kind of like a giant a giant assignment in publishing, yeah, effectively, yeah. looking after that massive estate. I mean, massive in terms of numbers of books, but massive yeah. in terms of sales as well. Yeah. It must be kind of thrilling working with an author like that. Oh, it's so thrilling because he's um, such a lovely writer, Harry, and he's also um, a world super seller. Yeah. And um, it's very exciting because he always writes a different book, and we're always excited how to publish it, and we're always looking at new and innovative ways to market yeah. his books and continue to increase his readership. And does his writing still surprise you? Does it still kind of... Do, do, do you still kind of get blown away by something? I mean, you must know his books better yeah, than almost yeah. anyone. There's nothing I look forward to more than a Stephen King book, because in it comes, and I just lay my eyes on the first page, and that's all the work I need to do, because he just takes you through yeah. the book, and he just writes it for you. And you know, I'm so engaged with everything he writes, so I have... I've got the dream job because I love, I love his writing and I love working with him because he's such a professional and such a lovely man as well. I, I have heard that, that he's a very nice guy. He's written a book that I think um, our viewers will be really, really interested in, On Writing by Stephen King, which is kind of two-thirds autobiography, one-third a book on writing. It is. It's, um, it's divided into four. The first part is as close to an autobiography as we have. It's snapshots of his life. The central section is tips on writing from someone who really knows how to write and yeah. whose books remain um, world bestsellers. And there's a very good reason, because he really knows how to write stories that draw you in and are impossible to put down. And, I mean, working with him must have changed the way you think about the writer's craft. I mean, if, if, if you were kind of giving advice from your sort of Stephen Kingized yeah, viewpoint, yeah. What, what, what is the core of it? What is the essence of that craft? Um, powerful storytelling, I think, is at the heart. Um, and I think in on writing, he covers many tips, very, very, very sound advice that other readers, writers have come to me and said, I've read his book, even established writers who said, I've read his book. Yeah. And there's great advice there, great advice on dialogue, description, show, don't tell, there's a section there, and misery on how he describes misery, saying um, if he was to um, describe that Annie Wilkes was a manic depressive, he'd lose. But to show a woman who compulsively gobbles cakes and has got dirty hair, you really get a great feel of the show. And, and how much do you think what he does is just genius, that you can't teach, that you can't replicate? How much is just genius and how much is a craft that people can learn. I think so much of what Stephen King has is genius. I think yeah. he's the world's most genius writer. Um, and it's a moot point whether writing yeah. can be taught or not. But I do believe um, that there are certain principles that you can learn and practice, practice, practice. Like the equation of Strictly yeah. Come Dancing, you go in at a certain level. And I think if you're you know, learn the principles and then you can use them or ignore them as you want. You can certainly hone your craft. So, your so read a lot, write a lot, read a lot and, and write understand a lot. what the craft is. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Philip Price, thank you very much. Thank you, Harry. Brilliant. Is that all right? That's done. Three minutes fifty. You're a natural, Philip. Oh, thank yeah. you. That was perfect. That was